Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is mean of an array after removing some elements. So in this question, we are given an array called ARR. We have to return the mean of the remaining integers after removing the smallest 5% and the largest 5% of the elements. Coming to the function that they're given us, the return type is double. So we have to return a double value. Trim mean is the function name and the parameter is an integer array ARR. Now let's take a look at the example and see how this can be solved using a java program so this is the input array given to us and we need to display the mean after removing the smallest five percent and the largest five percent of the element first let's take a look at the steps we need to follow and then we'll do a dry run for this example first we have to find the length of the array they have given us the input array right we have to find the length and then we have to sort the array in ascending order for this you can use array.sort as they have said we have to remove the smallest five percent and the largest five percent of the element so first let's calculate the five percent of the length so this 5% of the elements can be found out by the formula 5% of the length do 5 by 100 into the length of the array and store it in a double variable called limit. So this is the limit or the range which we have to remove. So instead of removing the element, what if we can ignore the smallest 5% and the largest 5%? and place the new two pointers that is the start and end and between those two pointers you can find out the sum and then divide it with the new length between that range and find the average for that let us find the starting index the new start index can be found out with the limit value so this is the sorted array we have you can find out the new start index by removing the smallest five percent and the new end index by removing the last five percent because the array is sorted finding out the length of the array and subtracting it with the limit that will give you the end index in between these two intervals find out the sum and divide it with the new length between these two intervals so that you can calculate the average now let's perform a dry run for this input array first we have to find out the length of the input array the length of the input array is 20 then you have to sort the array in ascending order so this array you have sorted it in ascending order now we have to find the limit that is 5% of length 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05 into length is equal to 20 so 0 0.05 into 20 is equal to 1 so the limit is 1 so you have to remove the smallest one element and the largest one element and that will be the new interval so the new interval will now be start is equal to limit so limit is 1 now and end is equal to length minus limit so 20 minus 1 is equal to 19. Start is 1, right? So we are here and end is 19. So you are here. So you have to find the sum of elements between these two intervals. So to find the sum between those two intervals, you'll use a for loop. Well, I will start from start variable and it will iterate till end variable. The so sum of that. So sum of all these elements is equal to 72 and the new length is equal to the length between start and end. Add a new variable called new length and increment it by 1 for each iteration. So when you start from start and go till end, each time you increment a new length variable by 1. And when you terminate that for loop, you will have the length of the new interval. So that is 18. So now that you have the sum and the new length, you have to find out the average by dividing sum by new length. 72 divided by 18 will give you the value 4.00 so this will be a double value so you have to store average in a double value so you'll get this output now let's quickly code it up in java let's follow the steps i've mentioned first we have to start off by finding the length of the input array i'm going to store it in a variable called length now we have to sort the input array in ascending order so arrays.sort of the input array arr now let's find the limit and store it inside a double variable so double limit is equal to now we have to find out the 5% of the length so 5 by 100 is 0 0.05 into length now that we have the limit let us find the new interval start and end so let's declare the two variables in start start will be limit but here limit is a double value and you're storing it inside an integer so first let's convert it into an integer so int limit now to find the end interval int end is equal to length minus limit again limit is a double value so you have to convert it into an integer first now that we have the two intervals let us use a for loop to iterate from start to end i will be start it will iterate till end now you have to find the sum of each element and store it inside a double variable so first declare the variable double 
sum initialize it to 0 and you also need a new length variable right so initialize it to 0 notice that I'm using the data type double because the return type is double so you need to divide sum by new length which have to be in double so sum is equal to sum plus arr of i i will be now pointing at start and it will be going on till end for each iteration you have to increment the new length variable so that by the end of the for loop you'll get the new length between the two intervals now let's calculate the average I store it inside a double variable i'm going to name it avg now divide sum with the new length and finally return the variable average avg now let's try to run the code uh, we have to use the variable length let's try to run the code again there you have it we're getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted which is faster than 52.24 percent of the java online submissions surprisingly it's taking long time last time i executed it it was faster than 99 percent maybe it varies because of various factors so you can ignore this as of now time complexity for this solution is o of n log n and the space complexity is constant o of 1 because we're not using any extra space we're only using variables which is constant space that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Money on the